Hi, Dr. Mono. I came across a really impossible problem. I just want to blow my brains out. Can you help me start it? Come on over. I actually worked it out for you. What else is new? Um, I want to show you a problem. This, this is a hard problem. Um, someone actually asked me how to do this in the study group a couple of weeks ago, and I finally got around to it now. Um, but at any rate, um, I think you can get some good experience doing this problem. It says that the pKa is that pH in which half of an acid is ionized. In other words, 50% is in the HA form and 50% is in the conjugate base form. And if you remember, that gives you a mixture that's called a buffer. I must drill this into my study group's head. In the real class, we really get into this, and I, I emphasize all the time that the best buffer is when you're at the pKa of an acid, because you get half the protonated form and half of the unprotonated form. I want you to show me how the pH is equal to the pKa for a weak acid, HA. The way you would approach this is first write the reaction, put it in water, HA plus water gives H3O plus the A minus, and I write the Ka expression. The Ka is equal to the hydronium times the conjugate base A minus over HA. I'm gonna cross multiply and divide by A minus, and I'm gonna isolate the H3O plus alone. I'm gonna take the negative log of both sides. So I get minus log of Ka, HA over A minus is minus the log of H3O plus. I already smell blood. Minus the log of H3O plus is the pH. Minus the log of the Ka is the pKa, and minus the log of HA over A minus is the same as saying plus the log of A minus over HA. Now, here's the trick. When half ionized, that means half of it is in the A minus form and half of it's in the HA form. That means that these two would cancel out and give you one. The log of one is zero. So therefore, this would show that the pKa equals the pH. This is a really good question. Um, it'll come in really handy in a biochemistry class. But I thought I'd share it with you. It'll give you some experience writing out constants and writing out what the hydronium is for a weak acid. Um, so instead of memorizing all these bullshit formulas that I see or these study guides, try to learn the concepts. No study guide is going to give you the information you really need. There's no easy way out. You got to make sure you understand the concepts. Hit this problem. If you have any questions on it, talk to me in the Facebook study group. Or if you are too shy, pick up the Raymond Chang textbook and you can explore these type of questions in further detail. All right, good luck to you, Alexandra, and don't blow your brains out. Bye-bye.